welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kizla. In this video of quadrilaterals, let us take up a question based on kite. This is the question which we are going to take up in this video. In the given figure, ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to DC. Diagonals AC and BD intersect each other at O. Show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. AC is perpendicular on BD. AC bisects BD. So this is the question. Now first of all, let us see what is given to us in this question. ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to DC. As you can see in the figure, AB and AD are the two edges and sides. They are equal to each other. Similarly, BC and DC are the two edges and sides which are also equal to each other. Further, diagonals AC and BD intersect at O. So this is the point of intersection between AC and BD. We have to prove over here four things. First thing is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. That means these two big triangles ABC and ADC. This we have to prove congruent and triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. That means these two small triangles which are on the top. This we have to prove that they are congruent. Then Diagonal AC is perpendicular on BD. Perpendicular means they are intersecting at right angles. They form 90 degree. Further, diagonal AC bisects BD. That means AC is dividing BD into two equal halves. So basically, we have to prove over here that BO is equal to DO. So these four things we have to prove over here. And this information is given to us. Now let us start with the first part where we have to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. That means these two large triangles we have to take and prove them congruent. So let us start in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. The first condition which we can take is AB is equal to AD. As you can see in the figure AB is equal to AD. These are the two adjacent sides and they are equal to each other. Second condition we can take is BC is equal to DC. So BC is equal to DC. These are also at two adjacent sides which are equal. Third condition we can take AC is equal to AC. That is the common side. So as you can see AC is the side which is shared by these two triangles. So we can say that by these three conditions of SSS congruency that means side 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 congruency we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Now further when we have already proved them congruent we can also say that angle BAO is equal to angle DAO by CPCT. What does CPCT mean? CPCT means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. There are total six parts, three sides and three angles. So when the two triangles are proved congruent, their six corresponding parts also become equal. So accordingly, angle BAO, as you can see in the, over here, angle BAO is equal to angle DAO. Over here, these two angles are equal. Why I have proved over here that these two angles are equal? Because this equality we are going to be using in proving the second part uh, where we have to prove these top two triangles congruent. So over here, it will be used. So that's why we have already proved over here that angle BAO is equal to angle DAO. So now let us take up the second part. Now in second part, we have to prove that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. That means these two small triangles which are on the topmost, we have to prove them congruent. Again, we have to take up three conditions to prove the congruency. So let us start in triangle AOB and triangle AOD. We can say that AB is equal to AD. These are the two edges and sides which are equal to each other. Further, AO is equal to AO. That is the common side. This is the common side AO between these two triangles. And angle BAO is equal to angle DAO. This BAO triangle is equal to DAO as you can see in the figure. We have already proved this in part 1 when we had proved these two large triangles uh, congruent. That time we said that their corresponding parts are equal. So accordingly we had said that BAO is equal to DAO. So these two angles are also 
equal to each other by CPCT. Therefore, by SAS congruency, these two triangles, that is triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. Now, point to be noted over here that angle has to be always the included angle between two sides. So, over here, BA and AO were the two sides in which included angle we had taken was BAO. Similarly, the two sides of the other triangle was AD and AO and in which the included angle was DAO. So, that point you have to be careful about that the angle has to be the included angle. Now, let us move to the third part. Now, in the third part, we have to prove that AC is perpendicular to BD. AC, the diagonal is perpendicular to BD. That means AC and BD, they are intersecting at right angles. They are forming 90 degree angles. This we have to prove. So, let us start since triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. This we have already proved in part 2 that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD. We can say that angle AOB is equal to angle AOD. This you can see in the figure AOB is equal to AOD by CPCT. That means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. But they also form linear pair. So their sum angle AOB plus angle AOD is 180 degree. Their sum is 180 degree. Now, when they are equal also and their sum is 180 degree, we can say each angle is half of 180 degree. That means we can say angle AOB and angle AOD both are equal to 90 degree. Hence, we can say that AC is perpendicular to BD. That means the AC diagonal is intersecting BD at right angle. Now, let us take up the fourth point. Now, in the fourth part, we have to prove that diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD. Bisects diagonal BD, that means it divides BD into two equal halves. So, basically, we have to prove that BO is equal to DO. So, to prove that BO is equal to DO, what we will do is we will take these two triangles AOB and AOD, which we have already proved them congruent in second part. So, we will say since triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD, so, BO is equal to DO by CPCT because they are congruent. So, their corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also equal. Hence, AC bisects BD. That means it divides BD into two equal halves. Now, these four parts, we have proved it. Now, suppose in this question, they also ask which type of quadrilateral it is. This is a quadrilateral in which you have already been given that the two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So, which type of quadrilateral it is? So, we can say in a quadrilateral, when two pairs of adjacent sides are equal, that is AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to DC, it's a special type of quadrilateral called kite. So, we can say over here, a kite is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are of equal length and the diagonals intersect each other at right angles. So, further we can also derive the properties of the kite from this very question. Let us see how one pair of opposite angles is equal. Angles between unequal sides are equal. Now over here, if you see the figure, AB and BC are the two unequal sides. Between them, there is angle B. Similarly, AD and DC are the unequal sides. In between, we have angle D. Now angle B is equal to angle D by CPCT. As you have seen in the first point, we have already proved that ABC triangle and triangle ADC are congruent to each other. Therefore, their corresponding parts are equal. Therefore, angle B is equal to angle D. That's why this property is derived from the first point that is one pair of opposite angles is equal. Angles between unequal sides are equal. Now, let us study about the second property. Two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Now, this was already given in the question that it's a quadrilateral in which both the pairs of opposite sides are equal to each other. Now, the third uh, property is diagonals intersect at right angles. That means they are perpendicular to each other. This we have derived from the third point which where we have proved that AC is perpendicular on BD. That means AC and BD are forming 90 degree with each other. They are intersecting at right angles. 
now fourth property is only one diagonal is bisected by the other diagonal that is the longer diagonal bisects the shorter diagonal now as you can see in the figure ac is the longer diagonal bd is the smaller diagonal now ac is bisecting bd this we have already proved in uh, part 4 where we said that ac bisects bd that means it divides bd into two equal halves and there we had proved that bo was equal to do so from this question itself we can derive the properties of kite so hope you have understood this question this is very important question and often comes in the exam so this is it please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a good day ahead